Hello students, in this video I am going to give you tricks to solve pedigree problems very fast, that is in very few seconds. So actually there are four types of disease transfer mode. Those four types are autosomal dominant, X-linked dominant, autosomal recessive and X-linked recessive. Okay, so what is autosomal dominant? Autosomal dominant is nothing but the gene responsible for the cause of disease is present in auto present on autosome and its expression is dominant that means it can be expressed under homozygous dominant condition of that gene or heterozygous dominant condition of that gene next coming to x-linked dominant mode transfer mode so x-linked dominant transfer mode is nothing but the gene which is responsible for the cause of disease is present on x chromosome that is sex chromosome and it is dominant means its expression is under dominant condition of the gene that can be homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant next coming to third type of disease transfer mode that is autosomal recessive autosomal recessive means actually autosomal means the gene which is responsible for the cause of disease is present on autosome and that gene will be expressed it expresses its trait under recessive condition recessive condition means homozygous recessive condition okay next coming to uh, fourth one so that is x-linked recessive trait X-linked means the gene responsible for the cause of disease is present on X chromosome that is X chromosome and it is expressed its expression is recessive okay now coming to the tricks to solve these pedigree problems very fast so first first when we see a pedigree chart let's say this is a pedigree chart so when we observe a pedigree chart first we have to see that whether it is dominant trait or recessive trait whether it is dominant or recessive trait dominant or recessive so by applying a trick we can come to a conclusion that whether it is dominant trait or recessive trait if it is not skipping it don't skip generations if it is not skipping generations then that is called as it don't skips generations that is dominant trait if it is skipping generations that is recessive trait skipping generations skipping generations is nothing but for example it may be present in the this uh, diseased condition may be present in first generation second generation it may be absent in third generation again it may be present so that is skipping of generation okay let's see the trick now so first when we observe a pedigree chart first we have to conclude that whether it is dominant or recessive recessive trait so if it is not skipping generations don't skip generations that is dominant if it is skipping generations then it is recessive type of trait next coming to so when we conclude that it is dominant if we conclude that it is dominant uh, uh, trait then we have to identify that whether it is autosomal dominant trait or x-linked dominant trait for that we have to apply next trick next trick is whether it is showing crisscross inheritance or not crisscross inheritance is nothing but when the disease is transferred from mother to son and father to daughter that is called as crisscross inheritance or we can say that disease can be transferred from mother to granddaughter and father to grandson but not from mother to daughter and father to son that is called crisscross inheritance so if we observe crisscross inheritance that can be now we can conclude that that is x-link dominant if there is no crisscross inheritance in the pedigree then we can conclude it as autosomal dominant okay so after coming to a conclusion that it is autosomal dominant also we can observe we, uh, by using some other tricks we can confirm that it is autosomal autosomal dominant what is that trick affected parents can have unaffected children if this condition is seen in the pedigree chart we can confirm it as autosomal dominant trait 
next after coming to a conclusion that it is x linked dominant also we can confirm it we can confirm that pedigree chart by using these two tricks as x linked dominant what are those two tricks means first trick is disease never transfers from father to son and one more trick is all daughters of an affected father will be affected all daughters all daughters of an affected father will be affected so this is an important trick these two tricks are very important which are useful for confirming a pedigree chart as x linked dominant okay so example for autosomal dominant is many examples are there here i have given few examples autosomal dominant is huntington's disease and the other one acanthoplasia next for x linked dominant disease vitamin d resistant rickets next coming to this so if we uh, come to a conclusion that if the pedigree chart is recessive trait then we have to conclude that whether it is autosomal dominant autosomal recessive or x linked recessive by looking for criss cross inheritance so first trick by applying the first trick we come to a conclusion that whether it is dominant trait or recessive trait if we conclude that it is dominant then by observing the criss cross inheritance we can we can conclude that whether it is x linked or autosomal x linked dominant or autosomal dominant if criss cross inheritance is seen in the pedigree that is x linked dominant if criss cross inheritance is absent that is auto, autosomal dominant right now it if it is not skipping generation if it skips generation generations that is recessive trait okay in recessive trait also we have to conclude that whether it is autosomal recessive or x linked recessive by looking for the second trick that is criss cross inheritance so we know already what is criss cross inheritance if criss cross inheritance is shown in the pedig pedigree chart then we can come to a conclusion that that is x linked recessive trait if there is no criss cross inheritance that is aut autosomal recessive trait okay so after coming to a conclusion that it is autosomal recessive by using a trick we can confirm it we can confirm that pedigree as autosomal recessive trait that trick is unaffected parents can have affected children unaffected parents can have affected children so by using this trick we can confirm that the given pedigree is showing autosomal recessive trait so for example sickle cell disease next coming to x linked recessive so by using these two tricks two tricks we can confirm that we can confirm that it is x linked recessive so first trick is males are more affected when males are more affected then that is x linked recessive and we can also observe uh, that pedigree by using one more trick that is disease transfers from father to daughter or from mother to son, mother to son but disease never transfers from father to son already we discussed it in criss cross that is only criss cross inheritance so for example color blindness okay so these are the tricks uh, to solve pedigree very fast without taking much time okay after these uh, tricks let's solve uh, four different types of pedigree chart one one chart for one 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 example for one one type of trait or one one type of mode of disease transfer that is autosomal dominant x linked dominant autosomal recessive and uh, x linked uh, recessive okay let's start with it okay now this is a pedigree chart okay first by looking at a pedigree chart what we have to do we have to come to a conclusion that whether it is dominant or recessive trait so dominant trait means it won't skip generations recessive trait means it skips generations here you see here there is no this is first generation this is second generation this is third so actually here there is here in first generation disease condition is there second generation also diseased condition third generation diseased condition is not there but we can think that it is so that we can think it is recessive trait but here actually 
both the mother and father are not affected so that all the children are not affected so this is forming completely another family tree another family tree so what can we say now all the generations are affected in this generation also disease is there in this generation also disease is there as both the parents of this generation are not affected their children are not affected so we can go for dominant so it is not skipping generations it is not skipping generations so this is dominant so after concluding that it is dominant we have to conclude that whether it is autosomal dominant or x linked dominant what are the tricks autosomal dominant autosomal dominant means unaffected affected sorry affected parents can have unaffected children let's see whether this condition is seen in this chart or not pedigree chart or not okay see here affected parents can have unaffected children see here both the parents are affected both the parents this this parent and this parent both the parents are affected here but here three children are there one two three this uh, male uh, male uh, child is not affected that means affected parents can have unaffected children so this is showing that it is autosomal dominant so this is autosomal dominant this is not x linked actually we what i told we have to apply whether it is showing criss cross inheritance or not it is not showing criss cross inheritance because from here from father to father father to son disease is transmitted from father to son criss cross inheritance means disease will not be transmitted from father to son so this is not criss cross as it is not criss cross obviously it becomes autosomal so after concluding that it is autosomal dominant we have to see for another trick to confirm that it is autosomal dominant what is that trick affected parents can have unaffected children so these are affected parents they are having unaffected children so this is confirmed that this pedigree is confirmed as autosomal dominant next next type of pedigree okay now let's see next type of pedigree so you observe this pedigree chart first what we have to do we have to confirm whether it is dominant or recessive by applying the first trick what is that first trick whether it is skipping generations or not here first generation this is first generation second generation third generation and fourth generation see here first generation disease condition is there in second generation also disease condition in third generation also disease condition fourth so it is not skipping the generations not skipping the generations means it is dominant it is not recessive right okay after concluding that it is dominant we have to apply a trick what is that criss cross inheritance whether it is showing criss cross inheritance or not that means whether disease is transmitted from father to Uh, daughter uh, or mother to son or not see here disease is transmitted from father to daughters all three daughters are affected when the father is affected all three daughters are affected okay here also disease is transmitted from mother to son here also disease is transmitted from mother to son here disease is transmitted from mother to son father to daughter okay so what can we say it is showing criss cross inheritance so when it is showing criss cross inheritance what can what can we say this is x linked x linked dominant dominant trait okay so for x linked dominant trait so we concluded that this pedigree chart is showing x linked dominant trait to confirm we can use tricks so what are those tricks for x linked dominant disease never transmits from transfers from father to son let's see disease never transfers from father to son here here disease is not transferring from father to son see here son got affected transmitted from mother here son got affected transmitted from mother here son got affected transmitted from mother but not from father so disease never transfers from father to son 
next one more trick is all daughters of an affected father will be affected see here father is affected and all daughters are affected here also father is affected this one daughter only one daughter is there one daughter is affected so affected all daughters of an affected father will be affected so both the tricks are uh, applicable here so this is confirmed as x-linked dominant trait this pedigree is showing x-linked dominant trait next next type of pedigree let's see next type of pedigree next type of pedigree so in a pedigree what we have to do we have to observe whether it is dominant or recessive first based on whether it is skipping generations or not let's see whether it is skipping generations or not so this is first generation second generation third generation right okay in first generation disease is there second generation disease is there third generation but you have you please observe this area so here parents are not affected but children are affected that means here generation is skipped so this is recessive next coming to whether it is autosomal recessive or x-linked recessive x-linked recessive so for autosomal recessive uh, what we study drake unaffected parents can have affected children autosomal recessive unaffected parents can have affected children let's see now here unaffected parents are having affected children affected child so we can conclude it as con confirm it as autosomal recessive trait and it is not showing crisscross so it is not x-linked next type of pedigree chart next type let's see okay when we observe a pedigree chart what we see whether it is dominant or recessive dominant or recessive okay on the basis of what whether it is skipping generations or not okay so first generation second generation third generation in first generation also affected uh, it is affected disease condition is there second generation also it is there third generation also but you observe this area here parents are not affected but children are affected that means here generations are skipped that means this is recessive condition now we have to see whether it is showing crisscross or not okay so from uh, mother son got affected from mother son got affected now this is carrier from here son got affected and here both uh, daughter and sons got affected because both the parents are affected okay so whether it is recessive sorry autosomal or x-linked how can we confirm based on crisscross it is showing crisscross inheritance and one more trick i have given for x-linked recessive inheritance males are more affected let's see so here males are more affected in this generation two males are affected here also males are more affected so as males are more affected and disease transfers from father to daughter and mother to son disease never transfers from father to son so disease is transferring from mother to son and here also disease is transferring from father to son sorry father to daughter and mother to son so we can confirm it as x linked recessive trait so these are different uh, tricks and i have in this video i have given tricks to solve pedigree problems very fast that is in few seconds and i have given four different i have shown four different uh, pedigree charts uh, as uh, one example for each type of trait hope students understood this um, tricks and uh, hope these tricks will be useful students can solve these solve the pedigree problems by using these tricks very fast thank you students